The city that never sleeps is a real culinary melting pot. But at the end of the day, we all do the same, having dinner. And in the studio, we've got our New York City blogger, Joyce again. And Joyce, all those different nationalities, they miss their own comfort food, right? Oh, I would definitely say a big yes to that. I mean, food is comfort, food is home. Every single bite you take can take you back to where you came from. And in New York, we like to say a restaurant is good if you see people from that country actually eating there. A lot of Mexican people live there. What do they eat, for example? Well, right now, Spanish Harlem in Uptown Manhattan is a really up-and-coming neighborhood. And one of the most popular places that's always packed is called El Paso Restaurante Mexicano. And when you walk in, you hear Spanish in the air and there's football on the television. Uh, people go on dates there and families bring their kids there. And whenever I go, I love having the El Paso Margarita, which is a white tequila margarita with jalapenos and cactus and red peppers. And uh, my favorite Valentina's hot sauce. And also, you can't leave without trying their carnitas tacos and fresh ceviches. That sounds delicious. And what about the Chinese people? Well, I am Chinese myself, so <laughs> my family, ever since I was little, we always go to Big Wang King in downtown Manhattan inside Chinatown. And in Chinese, we just call it Da Wang. And if you can believe it, the dishes there only start at $2. You always leave full and satisfied without spending a fortune. And there you can get the most succulent Chinese barbecue. They have fried doughs and fantastic and very homey like noodle soups with wontons and duck meat. Is there another international comfort food you would like to share with us? Yes, so recently one of my Russian friends introduced me to Marivana and I'm very excited about this restaurant because the food is so good and the restaurant so cute. The outside of the restaurant looks like a home. So when you walk up, it's, uh, it has like a very welcoming bench with flowers and plants everywhere. And on certain nights to get inside, you actually have to ring a doorbell just like you would to enter somebody's home. And that home theme continues inside of the restaurant. And they tell me that the Russian expats there really love getting the pelmeni, which is a traditional Russian dumpling, or the Olivier salad, which is a roasted vegetable salad that has different meats and mayonnaise and egg on top. And what's fantastic is that the chef there just came from Moscow, so you know that the food is authentic. Thanks, Joyce, for sharing your story and your tips on international comfort food. And for more information about uh, New York City comfort food, go to chasingjamesbeard.com. Ciao.